Hello, hi. This is the start of an improvisation workshop for music. So, I'm going to start by explaining my theory on what's going on with improvisation and why I'm so obsessed with it. So, whether or not you want to agree with it or not, or whether it's your cup of tea, it doesn't really matter. This is how I work. So, if you need to switch off, do that. So, improvisation as a way to access primordial consciousness. I've traveled a lot, you know, I've traveled on the streets, I've lived on the streets, lived on the beaches, and before I was traveling, I was lived on the streets of Australia. One thing I came to trust was my intuition. And that's a sense that's based on all of your experience, experiences, conscious and unconscious. It's a, it's a sense that accesses all the information that's ever been in your experience simultaneously. Sometimes it can be wrong, but sometimes you can tune it and you can fine tune it. And you can also be aware of when it is hypersensitive and when those premonitions are truly correct. And so as you become more in tune with this level, this layer of yourself, you become aware that there's much more going on in this world than just your single bodily experience of, for example, my 34 years on this earth. The cells have memory and they're locked in with memory of generations after generations. Through improvisation in music, we can access old tunes and rhythms and, and melodies like, like in traditional music, how it awakens parts of ourselves and parts of our brains like Bulgarian or Turkish or Greek or Armenian or, or Irish or whatever type of traditional music it is. Modal music from West Africa to, to China. You know, it's, it's, it's such a, an amazing part of, of our experience that our, our lives from our past through ourselves can be unlocked through music. So improvisation is a way by using intuition to know exactly where to go with a note and then finding a path of something that you sense you've done before and not necessarily in this life. So that to me is why improvisation has such magic and it has the ability to, to tap into this past and once we once we unlock pieces of it with with uh, memories and musics that we that we rem that we that, that we bring back up through our intuition into the present moment, those uh, those melodies and, and and those musics and those rhythms they they unlock other parts of our brain. This is a way of expanding consciousness. Uh, Take, for example, the experiments they've done with people with Alzheimer's and what music does in that it helps people remember. This is just a very small, uh, small, uh, small example in the present moment in this hard physical reality that we call present modern reality, whatever you want to call it. But consider that on a uh, on a mass scale through all of time. Consider that time is not linear one moment after the other. Have you ever had in your moments lives, in your lives moments where you have premonitions and they come true? It's not a mistake and nor is it hocus pocus. It is science. It's just science that we haven't been able to put a finger on yet. Through quantum physics, we're getting there slowly, but Let's stop trying to prove everything down to the finest T before we know that it's true. And this is the basis for my knowledge of improvisation. I'm not claiming to be a master. I'm not claiming to know everything. And, you know, I'm, I'm not claiming to be the best musician. It's just, this is how I've always thought of music. Like I'm digging something up from the, from the ultimate absolute past. You know, for, for better or worse, because we can, you know, there's dark and there's light in the past. But we can also be digging 
or, or, or drawing from the absolute or ultimate future. So I want you to keep these thoughts in your mind when, when I continue this course and I, and I give you methods by which to improvise or to start to practicing improvise. You might be a seasoned musician that's, uh, that just can't improvise because some people are very good at playing stuff that's already written for them but not very good at improvising. Or you might just be someone that's starting out completely with music. That's okay, it doesn't matter. But this course is for everyone. So I hope to expand your minds with, with my ideas and uh, hopefully you can incorporate it into your world and keep it as your truth. Thank you.